Hey there, everybody. We're a resilient group here at WTWO. We're not going to let some technical difficulty stop us from showing you what happened today. Here now, please enjoy sports recap starting with West Figo soccer. There's one of them, Ethan Parsons. He's not going to score his first ever goal, is he? Yes, he is. A pass from Jackson and Ethan with the strike. Terrific placement, and West Vigo takes a one to nothing lead. That's his first career goal. What a time to do it. The other senior is Ian Beaver. He's always around the ball. Another assist from Jackson, and on the second effort, Ian provides a key goal, and the Vikings out to a two to nothing lead. South Vermillion gets one back. Number 14, Bryce McLaren, finds the left corner, and he cuts it to two to one. Look how close they came to tying it. McLaren hits the post. Tough break for the Wildcats. So West Vigo holds on. They are deserving of that trophy. Two to one was the final. Here's Ian and head coach Brady Cole. They came out and played hard. We've competed with them in sectionals multiple times before. I think the past three years we've played against them. There's some great kids. We know they're only 15 minutes north. You know, we got a lot of relationships with them. And uh, they played hard, and it was fun to be out here and battle with them again. We knew it was going to be like So 10 years to the day, um, we won our first sectional in school history. And Coach Montanez was our coach. And then it, you can't put that into words. I told the boys that before we left. I showed them the plaque on the wall and the sectional trophy and the trophy case. And you really can't. I mean, I don't know of any other program that has to go against their old former coach and still trying to get that third one in 10 years. So really proud of them. Meanwhile, this morning at the cross country sectionals, the boys race started at 10 a.m. Near the lead pack is Terre Haute South's Matt Gamble, along with Narius White from Northview and Dylan Zeck from Terre Haute North. Those three broke away from the pack on the back stretch near the three mile marker. And down the stretch, what a boost from Gamble. He had a great kick to the finish. And Matt Gamble wins in a time of 16 minutes, 24.3 seconds, one second ahead of White. Zek was third. Jason Grant took fourth. And his teammate from Northview, Stuart Bennett, took fifth. On the teams, Northview was first, followed by South and North. Clay City was fourth and West Vigo fifth. We caught up with Gamble on his winning effort. From my perspective, it went exactly according to plan. I didn't want to get out too hard. I tried to run a little more conservative today. Um, stayed behind Dylan and Nolan and kind of just kicked it out, to, kicked it out at the end there. On the girls' side, Ginnister Grant put on a clinic. She went straight to the front for the Northview Knights. She knows how to win here, having done it last year as well. And Ginnister Grant wins in a time of 19 minutes, 22.9 seconds. The only girl under 20 minutes. Peyton Smith from Linton was second, and Hallie Miller from Northview took third. On the team side, it was Northview, South, and North, along with Clay City and Owen Valley. Here's Ginnister on going back to back. Throughout the race, since I was out there by myself, I just made sure to tell myself to keep going because it's just a mental game and it's really tiring when you're out there by yourself. And so I just made sure to keep going. Congrats to everybody there. Meanwhile, in Spencer, the Northview Lady Knights were seeking their fifth straight sectional title. They needed to get by the hosts, Owen Valley, and the girls were certainly up to the challenge. Out to Spencer we go, and they waste no time. It's Emma Whitman. Way to go, Emma, and the Knights led it one to nothing. Now, second half, Ava Dorset on a breakaway, and Ava makes it two to nothing there. We're not close to being done with the scoring off the shot by Rayleigh Everhart. It's McKaylin Fry, and the Knights are in total control. One more off the cross and an unfortunate own goal for the Patriots. And major props to the Knights. They win 5 to nothing for their fifth title. That has a nice ring to it, right? 5 for 5. Here's Coach Grounds following the win. I like that reloading. I think that's what you have to do, and we've been lucky. We've been able to do that. Um, that's the difference with the program, I think, sometimes. You're just trying to reload every year and be be, uh, be a part of the mix and make an effort and you know try to do the best you can with what you got. So. Congrats to both Northview and West Vigo. By the way, they will be home in the regionals, just like the Vikings. Good luck to them both next week. 